Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ebony and I am the owner of Right Now Vending located in Ohio. And today I would like to discuss one of my favorite pieces of software um, that helps run my vending machine business so much more efficiently. I have Nyax card readers, but unfortunately Nyax card readers don't really give you um, all of the reports and things that you need when you are actually at the vending machine. And this software right here that we're going to talk about, Vinsoft, has been a game changer. It saved me so much money and time, effort. It helps with accounting at the end of the tax season. It's just amazing. Let's talk about it. So we are in demo mode right now. So when you first log into Vinsoft, you will see your dashboard and it will tell you your net income, your expenses, we'll go over that in a moment, your cash flow. If you scroll down, it'll tell you for that, that week what your sales are based on like food versus beverage, your sales by month, your top selling products for that week, your top selling locations, top selling machines, and it will also tell you what products you need to reorder, which is also very helpful. So we are right now, we're in demo mode, so none of my personal information is being shown at the moment. So you can use the calendar. I don't generally use the calendar, um, but you can. It'll just show you like what days you need to stock or basically what you have put into the machine already as far as your stocking days. Inventory. This one here is the biggest help right here for me. So let's just say you have three musketeers. That was one of the most popular candy bars back in the day. And you will put in the product's actual name for me, what I like to do is put the actual product name in here for the code. I don't tend to use codes. So for this one, you can just like copy that right there and change it, put it in there and paste. And then for type, you can choose like beverage, food, if it's a hot drink, if it's an ingredient, whatever the case may be. And right here, when you're first putting the inventory in, I personally would leave this as zero if you already have products in the machine. Because if you go and purchase a new pack of Three Musketeers, it is going to add that into your total inventory. But when you go to put in your actual purchases, it will add it again. So when you are utilizing the inventory portion, just leave these blank right here. So I'm going to save this because this is already set up. Also active, if it's something that you no longer sell, then you would just click active to make it inactive so that the box is blank. I am going to keep that as active for right now all right locations you will need to set up all of your vending machine locations you can do locations one two three you can as the code or for me what i do is whatever the name of the location is so if it's crystal clean i personally will put crystal clean right there but you can do it however you want whatever is easiest for you so let's click in here and see all the information that you have so you have your location you can add your contact person's name. Let's click edit so we can kind of maneuver in here. So their name, Crystal Clean. And the address of the location, the city, state, zip code, all that fun stuff. You can put notes in there. So, you know, if they only like you to come between two and three or something like that on like a Wednesday you can add a note in there or if they want you to be extra quiet or whatever the need is you can add that in there so if you know that you stock um, I'm sorry not stock but 
that they are only open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you would click those and and um, make those blue. So some locations are not available to you on the weekends or if you know that they only want you to come on the weekend, then you just click that. The configuration. This part we'll have to set up under configurations over here, but if you need to set up sales tax like in my state we pay sales tax on drinks only not on food items and so i would add the sales tax there if you pay commission to some location then you would add the commission for that specific location there i personally highly recommend not to pay commission to anyone because you are paying a service but you can do what you want to do if you are just trying to get into a location over here if you know that you will stock that machine let's just say on Mondays and Saturdays then you'll just highlight that and you'll service every week or if you service it every two weeks you can change it to that however you want to do it for me i try to stock so that i only have to go once a week i would like to go twice a week but it's a good thing to have to go once a week because that means people are buying so <laughs> we'll take it so let's see let's go over here we'll save this Okay, so we have not added machines yet. So let's go over here to machines. So here is our first machine. So this one is like a cold drink machine. So again, for me, I don't add actual code numbers. I put what the actual like machine would be or whatever cold drink machine or whatever, you know, down here you'll put whatever brand it is. So we have also what we call a planogram so the planogram this for my machines would go all the way down to like the number 58 and so the planogram tells you if this is row one column one number one that would be that so the next product next to that to the right would be the second product and you would number these so on like my machines like um the columns you know they, they kind of change a little bit so it might be mine go by slots that's what i'm trying to say so it might be slot number 58 and so you'll hit you know save and it'll change it to slot number 58 and it will tell you like how many units of whatever product it is that you need it, it'll show you all of that so this this software is like really amazing let's see so let's come out of here oh also I'm sorry under machines if you did some sort of um, maintenance you can put that on there and let's just say that it's uh, September 4th and who it was um repaired by let's see and how much it costs let's say the service fee was 150 and they fixed change dispenser or change swapped it out something and then you'll put the solution and add the parts that they used and you'll have your repair log there so let's come back to machines and go back to that one you can always look at your service history your predictions for the following week um you can kind of look at that five units are needed that's the big thing is what is needed for the next week you can upload photos on the app for this you can actually take pictures at the site we'll go over that in another video but you can actually take pictures at the site and let me see okay and then again the commissions you can add that here 
for you know per machine again i don't recommend going to locations that require a commission because you are providing a service to them to make their life easier and if you need to delete that machine for whatever reason you can delete it from what i am told by vinsoft if you delete the machine it does not delete all of the data associated with that machine so let's go into trips here you can create a trip right here so let's just say our trip is let's just say today and we will select a truck we will have to go in and create a truck you need to do your configurations um first and you'll just i just like to say restock because that's what i'm doing most weeks you're going to add your location you don't necessarily have to do both i just like to add both it makes me feel better so <laughs> i just add both on here and hit save from there we'll go over this again in more detail and then this is where the pre-kitting comes in we'll go on for that a little bit more later this is where you'll add your routes so whatever the name of your um location is we'll just say eagle bank we'll just say that and then um if you have a default driver you know you'd add them in there but again we have to add our drivers and everything under configuration this is where you can add your purchases so let's say you go to um, sam's club so we'll go to the norman sam's club and i'll show you also we'll have to add that in there too and we went on this particular date and we will add the product in here and let's just say again we bought three musketeers this is why i say in the inventory when you're adding a new product add the new product but don't put the number of units you have because once you come here for purchases um you will need to add that so let's just say um you bought one case and let's just say it was 33.98 which sounds about right these days for candy bars they're kind of expensive and you would hit save or if you have another product to add you hit save and new and for that one we'll just hit cancel and so if you paid sales tax on it depending on your state again in my state we don't pay sales tax on the food items plus if you have your sales and use form for reuse and you present it to the store you set up your account and everything you shouldn't be paying sales tax anyway but that's not tax advice that's just telling you what i do expenses if you need to do like a repair you need to issue refunds your gas anything any type of receipt you can add it here the only thing is with this software you cannot scan it like with your phone or anything you'll have to like scan it with your printer scanner and then upload it that way this is the part that i love is the reports when it comes to like tax time like i just love this software because you can do so many things so let's look at this so you can do sales by let me see what's one oh we'll need profit and loss so come tax time you'll probably need this what well, i needed this form and it will tell you like all of your profits for you know and, and right here you can um do it for year to date so everything for this year so in december again i would go to this form here and another one that you would need for my state is sales tax so again i have not set up we'll do that under configuration so you'll set up your sales tax here and it will tell you like exactly how much you need to pay in sales tax and you can set up the sales tax to only collect on or calculate i should say on drinks or drinks and food again depending on your state so this is the configuration this is kind of where you need to start before you kind of go through all of the other sections so 
You can do product type, which is did that. This is where you would set up the sales tax in here, list your suppliers, basically wherever you purchase your drink snacks, everything from goes here. You can even create variety packs. Like I know at Sam's Club, they have the flaming hot variety packs. So you can create a variety pack here so that you can individualize each product. You can create custom fields. This is where you would create your truck, which just means that basically you, like you would create whatever vehicle that you're using to go to your locations. You also need to create a warehouse. Ours is the main warehouse. That's what we're calling it. And it just means that the base where you're leaving from basically. So wherever you store your snacks and drinks at, that's what that is. And then you can do column maps. I really don't use this one, but you know, you can, um, let's see. And then you can make a list of common problems. I don't really use this one either, but you know, you can, um, just type in a list of common problems so that, you know, these are things that you want to avoid. So we can also do transfers with this. So whatever you used for like your inventory that you will go over that in another video. So whatever you are taking with you, you basically take that out of the warehouse and you're putting it in the equivalent of a truck according to the software. So basically you can distinguish between what is with you and what is not with you, what is still in the warehouse and what is actually in your vehicle that you're using to transport the snacks. And then once you get back to your location where you'll be storing the snacks, you will take it out of the truck. Again, we'll do this in another video. And I thank you all for watching this long. I appreciate it. And I hope that this helps someone and we will continue to do these videos. So have a great day.